I mean, how long have you known him? 19 days. Good night. You've known him 19 days and you haven't told us about him? I mean, after all, we're your best friends. Well, I know. I wanted to keep them all to myself. Good night. Oh, by the way, Robbie and I are getting married in two weeks. Good night. Honey, come on, take it easy. Take it easy? It's easy for you to say you're not getting married tomorrow. <laughs> come on, you guys. You're like a bunch of helpless women. Not all us women are helpless, Uncle Charlie. Hey, honey, what's the matter? What is it? <laughs> the most wonderful family that ever happened to anybody. Where are we going? Well, here, you see, you didn't put it in gear. <laughs> well, that's another confusing thing. It says R and D. It sounds like a prescription or something. Well, of course, the R means reverse, and the, the D is for drive. Well, go ahead. Uh, what are you doing now? Well, starting over. I think a complete sequence makes more sense, don't you? <laughs> you know what? Now I really feel like one of the family. No kidding. How come? Well, my grandmother has a saying that I, I never paid much attention to until now. She said that there's nothing colder than a discussion. Nothing so full of love as a fight. Welcome to tea time at the home of Katie Douglas. <laughs> oh, thank you, Uncle Charlie. <laughs> You're too wonderful for words. I know. <laughs> What was that? What was what? You moved without moving. <laughs> that was our baby. It moved by itself? It was probably waving at us. She's in the mountain cabin playing jacks with her sister. Is there a mountain cabin around here? Oh, sure. <laughs> Come on in the cabin, Sharon. I'm up to threesies, and my sister here is up to foursies. Well, we just thought maybe uh, four nights in a row in the same restaurant would be a little too much. Not when you're there with the family that loves you.